Thought I'd talk about an interaction with law enforcement while I was carrying concealed. I had my Ruger revolver in my pocket. And we get lots of questions on our websites and here on our videos. People ask about what it's like to live in a state like Arizona where we have now constitutional carry, where anyone who's law-abiding can carry a firearm concealed if they choose to. You can also choose to get the CCW permit as well. It's an option now. So uh, I thought I'd describe uh, quickly the situation and how the interaction went down. I've seen plenty of other guys post videos about their real life situations and it's always a pleasure to get actual information about what's happening as opposed to theory and uh, you know the theoretical scenarios you get from training classes and books and things. So it was a pretty uneventful situation basically, uh, you know, normal traffic stop, he flashed the lights, I pulled into that parking spot there, he pulled in behind me, I turned off my engine, uh, you know, window down, hands on the steering wheel, uh, the normal drill. He came up, we had the conversation, he asked me if I knew what was wrong, honestly I didn't, so uh, he explained, it not, and it looks like it's going to be one of these types of situations where once I fix it, hopefully before the court date, that uh, the ticket will go away. But in any case, I did get a ticket, and uh, but I thought I'd talk about, you know, the actual conversation there, so uh, in the conversation, uh, as we're going through the you know, the, the, what you do. Uh, he asked for my uh, driver's license and the rest. And as I was pulling it out of my wallet, I had a decision to make. And I've never had this decision before because I haven't been pulled over since they started constitutional carry here in Arizona about a year ago, a little over a year ago now. So uh, this was the first time I had to make this decision. And you know, I had to think about all my other interactions with law enforcement, not just to set the stage here. I'm lived in Arizona now for over 20 years and I can count on one hand how many times I've been pulled over you know for a violation or a situation and then even less than that it become actual tickets so it's not like I'm very experienced with getting tickets however we do live in Ar southern Arizona so if we're out south of town maybe scouting for deer or shooting at one of the ranges south of town it's not unusual for us to be stopped by border patrol especially when we have vehicles like a covered truck you know where they might want to take a look and make sure nothing crazy is going on so uh, we have plenty of you know brief interactions with law enforcement like that so that's pretty much probably why I decided in you know in this situation uh, in, to not bother with the CCW in other words um, we're not under any obligation here in Arizona to talk about our CCW status when we're pulled over by law enforcement um, but there's nothing stopping us from mentioning it as well and it's really just kind of up to the person and of course up to the officer now in the conversation um, we did get to a point where he asked me if I had any firearms or weapons and I said yes I do in my pocket and in the bag I was actually uh, heading off to do a review so you know when I say I had quite a few firearms in the bag there were quite a few firearms in the bag um, so he asked me to step out of the vehicle right around then the local law the local police showed up and I don't think that's unusual either I'm sure that when uh, Arizona uh, level law enforcement pulls somebody over like this in town uh, they probably bring a local guy in case I was crazy and they needed to take me to jail or something but uh, for whatever reasons he showed up right around then basically they asked me to tell him what pocket the firearm was in uh, without touching it and he asked if he could and you know I, I allowed him and this is the only part I felt a little bit you know not real good about is that he reached into my pocket and pulled out the revolver now I kind of wish he'd let me do that because honestly, you know, if he's not familiar with the revolver or something weird or, you know, whatever, and, you know, that trigger gets pulled, that's my leg right there. But, of course, nothing happened. He, he pulled the revolver out and he just took it with him over to his vehicle um, and just asked me to stand at my vehicle. You know, and of course, that's safe for him. He doesn't have to worry about me uh, reaching into the vehicle. So anyway, that was about the extent of it. Later, I got my uh, citation, unfortunately, with uh, an envelope in the the rounds from the revolver were in the envelope. Uh, he asked me to wait until he left before I loaded it again. And that was basically it. Now I probably could have handled it a little bit differently, you know, by offering the CCW along with my license. Uh, that's sort of a subtle way to let them know I'm, prob I'm carrying right now. Uh, but, I, you know, like I say, I didn't have a lot of time to think about it and I chose not to. Uh, didn't really affect how it went down. We're probably talking about a seven to ten minute uh, interaction. Uh, for some reason, even when you're a big deal on the internet, uh, they still make you, you know, obey all these local state laws and things. But aside from that, it was a uh, relatively, uh, you know, hassle-free situation. Uh, we all ended up leaving, and like I say, hopefully I can uh, fix this issue and it, the ticket will go away. But that's a uh, you know, brief talk about what it's like to get pulled over for a traffic stop here in Arizona with a firearm. Uh, if you've got any questions about it or you know, concerns, any uh, you know, grown-up conversation about it, uh, feel free to uh, post it below. And always, thanks for watching.
The guys and gals of GunWebsites.com encourage you to take a CCW class every year, practice at least once a month, and carry every day. Thanks for watching GunWebsites.com.